Hello, my name is Andrew Flushi. I'm a Virginia traffic and misdemeanor attorney. If you're charged with possession of marijuana, one of the important things for us to look at is whether or not the Commonwealth can actually prove that you were in possession of marijuana. It seems basic, but it really can matter, and in some cases it, it means the difference between winning or losing. Unfortunately, in many cases, what happens is the officer maybe pulls you over and encounters you on the street, and for some reason or another, the defendant admits, yes, I have marijuana, here it is. In those cases, possession, the element of possession is really not an issue because you've admitted. So you, the, it's very clear that you knew you had it, you knew what it was, and there's really not an argument. Where the possession really becomes the key uh, in the case is in a situation where the officer comes along and maybe searches a car, searches a room, and finds marijuana somewhere not on your person. Then the issue is, can they prove that you were actually in possession of it? Just because you're near it, Virginia law says that's not enough. Being in the mere proximity to marijuana doesn't mean that you're in possession of it. What, when it's not in your actual possession, what the, the Commonwealth has to prove is what we call constructive possession. Basically, we look at all the other pieces of the case, the other little facts, and decide if, putting all those together, we can say that you constructively possess the marijuana. It's kind of this legal argument that the Commonwealth would make. What the courts say is that you have to, they have to show that you were aware of both the, the nature and the, the character and the presence of the marijuana and that it was under your dominion and control. So you not only have to know that it's there, know what it is, but you also have to be able to exercise control over it. So again, what the law says is that just being in near the proximity or near pro mere proximity to the marijuana is not enough. So just being in the same car with the marijuana, that's not enough to be in possession. Now, if it's a car registered to you, and it happens to be under the driver's seat and there's nobody else in the car, that may be enough to be in possession of the marijuana. But if there's a couple other people in the car, it's not your car, it's in another seat or on another floorboard where you're not sitting, then that's a much clearer case where you could argue that you're not in possession of marijuana. So there's a lot of facts and circumstances to look at, but just because you're charged with possession and just because you may have been near the marijuana does not mean that they can prove beyond a reasonable doubt that you were in fact in possession of it. There's a lot of little pieces to look at and that's something we definitely need to talk about if you have a possession of marijuana case.